Welcome to another video from Doc's Lock. With all I've got going on, I've decided to clear it all out, even though I'm in the middle of building benches. I'm clearing it all out, and I'm going to be addressing the issue of saggy ass syndrome, locksmith saggy ass syndrome on the eye load. And we're not talking about the pants. Oh, that, that does happen. We're talking about the, the arch on the back where the load is. Now, that's about uh, 45 mil. Can't put it in there. See that? Can't put it in there. Can't even put 45 mil in there. So what I've got today is this thing. Um, I bought this from the airbag man. It cost me four to five hundred bucks, and I'll take you through and show you what's in the box. What did it cost me? Uh, four four fifty Australian. Now I looked at the kit on eBay, and then I went to the supplier, and they said, "Right, give me this kit." So I get a better price. And what he's given me here, when I was, I was expecting airbags, something you'd inflate or put inside the coil spring or something. And this can only be described as something, some sort of sex toy for a cow. I don't know, I don't like the colour. And I notice on the ad they make it look like a bronzy colour. But that looks like a big, big... Oh, look, let's just, not, let's just not go there. Alright, so I've got two of them. I've got one of these, which is a fairly nice uh, looking bracket. 3 mil steel laser cut welded together, a um, couple of screws, screws have holes in it and I was wondering when I was talking to him what's a hole for and he's like oh I don't know and then I realised well if you've got pressure on this and it's pushing down constantly and the top of it's pushing down air has got to go somewhere and if it doesn't go anywhere it makes it most likely like a farting noise so every time you would go over a bump if you didn't have a place to displace the air it would be like a, a big fluffing noise, I mean that would be funny you know. <coughs> going down the road. They also gave me some Loctite, a little um, tube of Loctite for the thread and uh, we got ourselves a sticker. So we're going to be installing this on this eye load and it really helps having a hoist like super happy about that bit. So I'm going to jack it up, put it on and we'll see what difference it makes. I don't know if, like I already paid for it so now I'm like oh shit can't return it. I'm going to put these in see how we go. With my eye load, I was able to get leaf springs to make it a higher. That worked pretty well. Petters do have a $3,000 kit as well for eye loads. But I'm just going to try these $400 um, All I could describe them as is bump stops. All right, glorified bump stops. I'm going to install glorified bump stops at $450 plus install and see if I can get my ass off the ground as far as this sagginess at the rear end. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're a couple of foot off the roof, you can't see that. Put it on its locks, so push this button and now it'll lock in a place. Yep, okay. Now we are safe to go under and have a look. Alright, so this is our diff here. I was told that we use the original bolts. So what it looks like here is I'm going to be dropping these ones and putting that on top and removing this, removing this bump stop. Because we're on a hoist everything's kind of accessible. Uh, I really wonder how far, if I was to loosen these, how far this would want to spring down. So, ooh, what's that? Have a look at that. Wow. Oh, that's the handbrake. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not the brake line. There's the brake line. That's the handbrake. That's had a knock. It's had a knock. Uh, okay, the, that it doesn't look great, but anyway. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, back off these four screws. I'm going to make up my device. Um, will this go down? Uh, no, it probably won't. We'll see. I don't have anything to compress these springs, so we'll have to try and see. I've never done this before. I've done the other ones, but uh, today will be a today will be a new day. Okay, see everything that's happening there. Nothing looks too bad. We've got a bit of water leaking down only because it has been running with air conditioner. I can see the overflow just there leaking down. See a slight leak of something up there. Where's my torch? Where's my torch? 
This is the car I did the timing belt chain on recently. You can see a little bit of oil there, which isn't good. So I'm just looking. Ah, slight leak. Oh, okay, I can see that. Slight leak there, coming down there. And that looks like to me coming from the EGR. So that'll need to be addressed soon. All right, let's get into it. Okay, one minute into it. Um, so I've got my 19 mil here. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, undone. Like in about a minute, U-bolt accessible, U-bolt accessible. And now we can just probably just knock this thing off. I'll have to get a hammer and chisel. Unfortunately, it's just me, so I can't do it all on camera, but I'm just gonna get a ch hammer and chisel and knock that off and start to build an airbag. Okay, about 10 minutes in. So I dropped all four bolts. I took out my original bump stop here. Let's just put this side by side for height. So we should be getting an extra 50 mil, I reckon. All right, so it was a little bit tricky to get. You gotta get these brackets around there and then put it over top, uh, wiggle it back in. I've locked my bolts, that one, these four, and now I've uh, got the nuts on there, made sure the threads are good. So now I can hit it with my rattle gun, square it up. This looks like a little bit of an angle here. I'm using one of these little persuaders. Looks better. Hopefully once, uh, once I tighten it, it'll come back down. So it's a nine, couple of 19s here. Honestly, this side's taken me less than 15 minutes. So, so far I'm pretty happy. Let's just uh, tighten these up. Okay, all four bolts are tight in and locked tighted. And that's in. That's in. Let's see what this cow, cow ding dong is gonna do for us. We're gonna do the other one, then we're gonna drop them. We'll see where we're at. Okay, that's both installed. I did have a little bit of trouble um, lining up these brackets. I had to squeeze them, bring them back, find the thread, and then impact them on. Uh, you can see how much bolt is coming through, all of which are locked tight. It's same on the other side, so pretty much the same sort of reference as where it came off at. Um, I've tightened up that nut as well, so both of them pretty much are in. This upgrade took me on the hoist probably about 20, 25 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll be kind, we'll say half an hour, and it was a dream of an install. When, uh, when I did the other airbags and the coils, and other ones that I've done, this one was a dream of an install. This isn't an airbag, this is a bump stop. This is a glorified big cow ding dong bump stop on the back of the eye loads. So now's the time of true motion and we're gonna see what happens when we drop it. Now they, these clamps here didn't fit in, they could have been a little bit better. So it goes in, it's on a bit of an angle, then you tighten it down and you give it a knock with a hammer to bring it back to vertical. So that wasn't too bad. Squeezing uh, these things, bringing the threads through the same plate, not too bad. Nothing jumped off, off at me, so um, yeah, as far as an install, it's a dream, a wet dream, the big cow ding dong. All right, let's see how she looks. Okay, is that down all the way? Nah, uh, I just put it, that's what I did. You just did what? I just held it until it went. Okay, all right. Um, can you push the double down button for me? Let, let's double down on this bad boy. Ooh, okay, there we go. Okay, that'll, that's it, stop. All right, so before I could not get this ruler in. Now I can get this ruler in. Okay, so if I was to measure that, if I was to go from there to there, I've got 60 mil clearance. Uh, before, I was having trouble putting that ruler in, that's like 40 mil. So in theory, we've gained about 20, 25 mil off those bump stops. Let's just have a look and see how they look underneath. So 450 bucks, 25 mil. Okay, all right. So the whole idea is to basically just get a little bit more clearance on the back end, hold it up to a standard height these bump stops seem to have done that so i'm fairly happy with them um, also the performance of the car if the back end of the car's like hanging down low you don't want any scrubbing out or any other issues we already saw an issue with the handbrake um, cowling that protects the cable maybe that could be from overloading as well so perhaps this might buy us a few more years and at the price and the labor to install it wasn't too bad 
either that or we go the $3,000 hog, we put bigger leaf springs in, which jacks it up probably about another 20 mil on top of that. That's what I've got in my vehicle. Anyway, that's um, airbags. Well, they're not even airbags. Let's just call them cow ding-dongs for the eye load and saggy ass locksmith van syndrome. And I think we've achieved something, you know. If you look at that, I can easily get the ruler in there now. Look at that. You know, before I was, I was getting to about here, so, you know, maybe it's 20, maybe it's 30, maybe it's 40, but it's certainly higher than it was. Okay, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.